What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be talking about the um, presidential election this year. Uh, so, <clears throat> so we're going to get right into this, I don't know why I'm coughing so much, but uh, so the Democratic nominee is Russell Wilson with his uh, running mate Colin Kaepernick, and for the Republican Party it's Tom Brady, um, and Drew, Drew Brees is his running mate. So we're going to fill out our safe states now. For Russell Wilson, it's obviously Washington because he plays for the Seahawks. And California because Colin Kaepernick played. He, he did play for the Niners. Uh, and, you know, Oregon's just in the middle. So we're going to fill in Oregon as safe for them as well. And, um, and, hmm. oh, also Russell Wilson, he was born in Ohio. Um, so, yeah, that's good to know. And, you know, Indiana is kind of like Ohio. So is Kentucky. So those are our safe states. For Russell Wilson, um, and oh, also uh, New York because uh, like the Bills and the Jets and the Giants all hate the Patriots, and that was Tom Brady's old team. So we're gonna fill in uh, also New Jersey because that's where the Jets play. So those are the safe states for the uh, for, for the Wilson campaign. Now, all of New England is gonna be safe for Tom Brady because he played for the Patriots, remember, and. Um, <clears throat> And you know, also, he, uh, uh, he, is the Falcons or whoops, mm, you know, the Panthers who are in North Carolina, and the Saints because it's Drew Brees' home state, um, are all very happy because he beat the Falcons, uh, in the Super Bowl. And also, it's it, it's it's also worth noting that uh, that the Chiefs in Missouri. Uh, and the Raiders in California, as I mentioned, and the Chargers are all happy that um, uh, that Russell Wilson beat the Broncos in the Super Bowl, so Colorado is going to be safe for Brady. Okay, so now we're going to go over to our likely states. So our likely states, first, uh, first Nevada is going to be likely because, guys, I'll be real with you. Nevada is a blue state. And um, let's see, who else? Arizona is close to Nevada, also borders California, and Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, you know, and Utah, I guess. Like, 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 like they're all Seahawks fans there anyway, so that'll make sense. And and why, like, I don't need, well, actually not Arizona, but yeah. Uh, and then Alaska's going to be likely because I say so. So is Hawaii. Now for Brady, Arizona's probably going to be likely because the Cardinals don't like Russell Wilson. And uh, so, so will New Mexico because that's close to Arizona. And who else is going to be likely? Um, so, oh yeah. Also, I've got to mention uh, that um, Wisconsin is going to be safe for Wilson, and, and Michigan's going to be safe for Brady because they went to college in those states. So, yeah. And let's see who else is going to be likely. And Pennsylvania is kind of close to there. Same with Delaware and D.C. and Maryland. They're all going to be likely for Brady. And Tom Brady, you know. I'll just go with West Virginia as well. So, yeah. Now, let's go to... Let's see. Who are we going to go? Oh, yeah. It's now Lean. Russell Wilson going to win Texas. Because remember, the back in 2016, uh, the... Um, the Houston Texans were eliminated in the playoffs by the Patriots. They're going to be mad and they're going to be salty at Tom Brady. And, you know, Oklahoma and Arkansas are going to come along with them and be salty too. And, you know, so will the Dakota. So we're at 260 for, for Russell Wilson, Colin Kaepernick, 138 for Tom Brady and Drew Brees. But remember, Tom Brady, uh, you know, a lot of these states are very happy. Uh, the, the Falcons lost the Super Bowl because they hate Georgia. Like, you know, South Carolina, they absolutely hate Georgia. Uh, it's the same with Virginia. Uh, they also hate Georgia. Oh, but, oh, but I forgot to mention that um, Utah should actually be going to Brady by a decent amount. Mm, okay. And, okay, what else can we do? You know, how about we give... Uh, you know, just to, to, uh, like just to make it interesting, how will we give Wyoming to the Brady campaign? So now, our tilt states. So these are the most interesting. Well, actually, sorry, 
we have one more lean state for the Wilson campaign, and that's Georgia, because Georgia, the Falcons are still salty uh, because they choked the Super Bowl against the Patriots. And, yeah. Now, Brady, you, you know, he'll win in Minnesota because the Vikings don't like the Seahawks. He'll win Iowa, or, oops, and he'll win Iowa along with that. Um, and you know what? The Bears and Seahawks, they're in the same conference, so Illinois is going to narrowly, narrowly, narrowly go to, 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 to Tom Brady and off Nebraska because because Russell Wilson got to campaign. His name with Kansas. So it'll be by Lee Martin. So it all comes down. This is, this is for now, now Brady wins it. He wins the election. But if Wilson wins it, he wins the election. So it's uh, very close right now. So here's the thing. Well, let's look at our polling, okay? So, uh, oh, presidential race. Interesting. So in the presidency, uh, Wilson is head by seven in national poll over Brady. Uh, and look at this. Uh, F- F- Florida presidency. Wilson is headed by three over Brady. There are more than too lazy to click on it. So you know what? Tom Brady does play for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but the Miami Dolphins are his big rival, and Miami is going to be a half huge turnout for, for Russell Wilson. So, uh, so the deciding factor is Jacksonville, because because Tampa's going for Brady, and Miami's going for um, Wilson. Jacksonville, because you know, remember in 2017 the Jaguars were salty because the Patriots uh, they knocked them out in the playoffs in the NFC Championship, AFC Championship. So they're salty, and that's just enough to barely, barely tip the state to Russell Wilson. So, final prediction: Russell Wilson will be elected the next United States president, defeating Tom Brady and his running mate Drew Brees. Colin Kaepernick will be sworn in as the next vice president. So, yeah, thanks for watching. This is my prediction, and yeah.